Barrios and Ramos finishing strong. Wow. Nice right by Abel. Barrios sends a le uh, left jab, a right, and there's the uh, there's the tap. Big right by Barrios. Back comes Abel. He almost goes down. And these guys are going at it. Crowds on their feet. What a fight here. There's the bell. The welterweight title is in the judges' hands. And what an unbelievable fight. 1,500 punches thrown combined between both these guys. Unbelievable. Now you're seeing Barrios getting picked up by his corner. He's hoping to retain the welterweight title. Ramos with a big opportunity to look good too. He's on top of his coach's shoulders. And this is going to be a very interesting decision. I believe Barrios is going to get the win. But it's definitely close. Like seven rounds to five. Very, very close. Should be stated that both guys landed a takedown throughout this fight. And the way it went down is Barrios dominated like the first four or five rounds. Then Ramos flipped in around six. He probably won six through nine. And then it was back and forth for rounds 10, 11, and 12. And, you know, Ramos got to win two out of three of those, which I don't think he did just to get a tie. So, again, that leads me to believe Mario Barrios gets the win. Both guys coming together now. Here we go. Welterweight title on the line. Will it be Mario Barrios or Abel Ramos? Here comes the result. 114 to 112. Ramos. Wow. It's going to be split. 116 to 110 the other way, Barrios. So you can see <laughs> two judges completely opposite. 113. 113. It's a split draw. Wow. Split draw. It's a tie. So Mario Barrios retains the welterweight title unbelievable crowd can't believe can't believe this either it's a it's a tie that's hard to do after 12 rounds but you know what i'm not mad at the result that's the way it goes down barrios retains the bell he's now 29 2 and 1 game over